Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm gonna to review another product by Fred and Friends. This is kind of a fun one. It's a gin and titanic, a play on Titanic, ice tray mold. And yeah, check this out. It's pretty unique. If you look at it, you have an iceberg and a ship. And so that the ship kind of looks like it's sinking. The iceberg floats on top, according to the picture. Sink one into your drink. To remove, remove cubes, run hot water over the back of the tray, pull sides of the tray outward to release the ice mold. So pretty self-explanatory here. I've reviewed other Fred and Friends ice molds on this channel before, so check them out if you haven't already. And yeah, look at this one. This is one of the most unique ones, I'd say. But you just have this nice silicone mold, and the company seems like they keep producing them again and again, and this is a different shape. And so definitely a fun one. And it's kind of a, one of those molds where you have to be pretty precise with the pouring. Each one has to be filled up one by one. I'm using some filtered water. Uh, a viewer said boil water first. I tried that once to get clear ice. It didn't really work, but I can't see you know, if you have minerals in your water or any kind of impurities, probably that could be one of the reasons you're not getting clear ice. This one's not as important, but those, you know, ice balls, you kind of want clear ice. So here we go. Filled up to the top. A little bit of spilling, but no problem there. Um, nothing really that big of a deal. I think the big thing is get, carrying this over to the freezer without having it spill. And so, yeah, you can do that pretty easily. All right, so I'm going to open up the freezer here. Find a nice little spot for it. Okay, I found a spot in my freezer. And I'm gonna leave this in. And hopefully, we'll have some nice ship and iceberg ice cubes. Perfect for any drink that you might have. All right, so I took the little ice mold out of the freezer. I'm gonna run it under some uh, kind of just warmish water. Get it loosened up just a bit. All right, should be ready to go. All right, so here we go. First, we have the ships or the ship. All right, so we have some fails on the smokestacks. We have two out of four, but for the most part, and it does, let me just show you that, does look like a sinking ship a bit. All right, so let's do the iceberg. It didn't crack. Check that out, the iceberg. Yeah, and the iceberg kind of floats. Let's try that again. All right, yeah, that one looks a little bit better. It just kind of looks like an ice cube. All right, let's try this. There we go. Two middle ones, two middle smoke or stacks, smoke stacks. Let's see if we can get all four of them. Ah, there we go. Almost. Three. Three. All right, last try. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, let me just, I'm not gonna put that in the glass. I wanna show you that. So yeah, check that out. You can see the four smokestacks of the ship. Check that out. And then, into your glass it goes. So once they're inside the glass, I think 
it's a little bit difficult to see that they're actually ships and icebergs. Um, I think this is kind of a mold that you're gonna make some drinks out of and you know show your friends or whoever's over while you're entertaining guests while you're doing it what this is um, because once it's in the glass it's really hard to tell exactly what it is I think most people would just overlook that and not even realize that it's ships and icebergs so pretty cool idea actually real-world application for this thing the Fred gin and Titanic I think is a little bit a um, little bit disappointing in real life I mean you can just see this in the glass can you, can you tell those are ships and icebergs? It'd be really difficult. So I think it's kind of a fun thing in preparation um, of a drink or, or whatever you're making. But as far as actual uh, real world application, I think it's a little bit disappointing. But I can definitely see this using for other things like chocolate, something like that. I think that would be really cool. Chocolate uh, ships and icebergs. I think that would actually be a better better thing. So. Um, you know your imagination with this I think could take this into new directions so for that reason I'm on the fence leaning towards yes but I would say pass on the doing the ice cubes I think it's unless you're doing this for entertaining purposes but if you're gonna use this for like a chocolate mold I would say go for it it's kind of cool and you could definitely you would definitely realize that it's a, a ship um, with a, if you fill this with chocolate so I could see different different applications. So on the fence, leaning towards yes, it, it does work. Fred and Friends, or Fred, whatever you want to call it, is a good brand. Um, always have really unique products. So yeah, let me know what you think. Would you get this? Kind of curious what you guys think um, because on one hand it's cool, on the other, eh. But let me know. Leave in the comment section. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Till next time, I'll see you later.